and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming FA Cup quarterfinal matchup between Crystal Palace and Everton. Due to the luck of the draw, this fixture we played in South London, Croydon, at Selhurst Park. That stadium does feature in the virtual red patch that I use, so we have it for here in the preview. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do that right now while we finish loading. Here's a look at Selhurst Park. So we've got the NBC Sports broadcast, the U.S. carrier. Wilfred Zaha in the tunnel there. Pretty calm choreo here for Crystal Palace. We've got rain in London. Who would have imagined that? Crystal Palace, welcome Everton. Two sides prepare for kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. Crystal Palace, the 4-4-2. Christian Benteke and Jordan Ayew, the strike pair. Houston Edward also on the substitute pitch. Wilfred Zaha at left midfield. Here he is, attacking the players to watch for Crystal Palace. For Everton, 4 3 3. Charles out left. Albert Lewis, the striker. Lagazi out right. Andre Gomes, Dupore, and Allen in midfield. Van de Beek and Deli Alley. Andrews Townsend all on the bench. how this strategy works out. Look at our yellow ball. We are underway. Boy, it is. The rain has gotten heavy. <laughs> Very sloppy evening in London. Oh, boy. That should make for some fun. It looked like in the intro it was just sprinkling a bit. Now it looks like it's full on down for El Ghazi. Aston Villa gets in behind. He has a pretty good look there. A tough angle though, especially with the keeper coming out. Sends this off the mark. There, he doesn't get it. Jordan Ayew turns and fires. Jordan Pickford smacks it away. It's going to be a corner kick for Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zaha, the Orion take the kick. the Brazilian. Have some interest from Real Madrid this summer. Jordan Ayu in behind, but he's off sides. Oh my goodness, big mistake. Gives it right to IU. Oh my dear. Wow. Look. Everton Football Club looking a bit haphazard here. Well, let's be honest. That's how they've looked much of this season. Looked a little better so far under Frank Lampard. I like the move of immediately picking up two attacking midfielders and, and Billy Allen and Van de Beek, of course, I don't like to play either of them here today. But they are on the substitute bench if I need them. But I'll tell you what, Crystal Palace has got a heck of an attack from Teke Ayu. Oh, Richarlison loses his footing. Teke Ayu, Usain Edward, 
with the Zaha, I feel like I want to be a bit defensive here, particularly being on the road. Charleston, it's a goal.
very popular meme this summer. I'm sure you all recall Copa America with Emmy Martinez of Aston Villa in Argentina. Cross in, Calvert Lewin, another header that goes over the bar. Houston Edward on for Jordan Ayu. Crystal Palace attack. Everton doing a good job of playing keep away, especially since scoring that goal. Gazi, Calvert Lewin, Charlison. Calvert Lewin! It's knocked away again. Corner for Everton, and I think. Exhausted the stoppage time that was allotted, so Crystal Palace may not have another chance here to equalize. Didn't want to go punch for punch with Crystal Palace. Fortunately, I didn't have to. Anders Townsend, Mark for Razi, Fabian Delft for the Pure. Oh, nearly a mishap there. That's it. Selhurst Park in Croydon, South London. Everton, 1-0. The goal from Charleston. Let's take a look at our highlights. Fans are disappointed. Of course, sixth minute, El Ghazi. Gets behind the back line. Has a look here, but it's off the mark. to Richarlison, a little give and go into the top corner. Beautifully struck from the Brazilian here. 44th minute, it's Richarlison again. Batted away by Butland. Ninth minute, Calvert Lewin. He's got a look knocked away by Butland again. Seventy fifth minute, Seamus Coleman. Calvert Lewin, the header up over the bar. Eighty fifth minute, Seamus Coleman. Calvert Lewin up over the bar again. Actually, that might have been from El Ghazi. Circus on that one. Stoppage time. Calvert Lewin. Another attempt here. Knocked away by Butland. Yeah, a really nice night. Just let the, the one by, but unfortunately that was too much. Big reaction there, but too little too late, unfortunately, for Palace, it looks like. At least in this previous beat to be believed. From Selhurst Park in Croydon, South London. Everton won, Crystal Palace nil, a dominated possession. This was a really thorough performance from Everton. I don't know that it'll be this one side as it's played. Uh, this match is a point flip to me anyway. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do that right now. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.